Hello there, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and my YouTube channel is the letter N, the number two space W-I-T-C-H-I-N and that is intuition. I am currently about to do a reading for the sign of Gemini. If you have Gemini at your sun, moon, or rising sign, this can and most likely will resonate um, with you. The things I talk about may be past, present, or future. Carved and came out already. I tried to put it back, but it ain't want to go. Gemini, what the fuck do y'all be having going on? Is it me or is it y'all? I know it ain't me. So I be coming in with a positive energy and every time a Gemini reading start, it just don't be just... I really feel like Geminis are in their Gemini energy. One minute you this person, one minute you that person. One minute I like you, one minute I hate your ass. One minute I love you, one minute I want to fight you. I really don't know right now. I don't know who I am right now. I thought I knew, but I don't. Y'all up in researching um, <laughs> planets and shit. Uh, trans is trying to figure out why you feel this way. That's hilarious. Let's see. What was this first card? Ancestor, spirit, guys, divine, holy spirit, and universe, please assist me in giving Gemini. A lot of you guys um, may be back and forth with a partner. So if you aren't married or engaged or like in a very solid foundation, if you're on again, off again with somebody, y'all on again, off again, shit is going to be on again, off again, like all October, right? Like I'm going to block you for two days and I'm going to unblock you. And if your ass act up, guess what the fuck you going back to? The block party. If somebody doesn't support your marriage or your union or your relationships or your sexuality, your sexual preferences, whatever, they can kiss your ass, okay? There are people who are judging you but won't judge themselves in October. There are people who are judging your situations and your actions and your behaviors and why you go out all the time and why you do this all the time and why don't you do this? You know what I'm saying? Like, worried about the wrong shit. People be having bigger fish to fry. But in October, they gonna feel like you the fish that they need to be frying right now. I always don't you got bigger fish to fry? You worried about the wrong shit right now. And in um, October, a lot of people are going to have their eyes on you, Gemini. You, your relationship again, sexual preferences. Um, ah, jealous. Whatever you portray on media or in media. Someone's watching you online. Someone's trying to figure out how it is you kept going, how it is you didn't give up, how it is you study succeeding, how it is you letting go of toxic behaviors. Well, you was toxic with me. Why you ain't treating him like shit? You was toxic with me. Why you ain't treating her like shit? Like trying to figure out how it is that you kept going and how you are changing and how you are evolving and shit. Someone definitely wants to set you back. Let me let me make that clear. Is like waiting for your downfall, waiting for your downfall. And well, if you anything like me, if you mad, oh, you finna be pissed off with the shit I'm finna do next. I'm jealous, jealous, jealous. These cars are just gonna do what the fuck they wanna do, huh? Let me see. Some of y'all could be dealing with Libras. Well, Gemini is an air sign. Aquarius is also here too. I don't even call signs out, but it is very evident. There's other, like, not only are you in your element, there's other, um, gotta be a Libra. Y'all could have Libra in y'all chart, so y'all could be like double air. I'm not saying your partner has to be a Libra, but during the month of October, a Libra... Uh, and in Aquarius will be um significant. So, uh, is the is the motherfucking hater a Libra on Aquarius? I don't know. I keep my opinions to myself about the signs, but I'm honestly gonna do a video on how I feel about all the signs. I can't tell y'all which sign might be a hater. Yeah, I don't know. I see money money going well for you guys. Um. Kind of not even, not necessarily just going well. I feel like it's steady. I feel like, you know, there's a steady stream of income. There's a, a solid a solid foundation. Like you don't feel very stable. Your income is stable. Your finances are stable. Now is not the time to travel. 
Don't even put that shit on your to-do list. Because when you have a trip or some plan, you may end up sick. Um, the person you're going with may end up sick. It's something where it's like traveling during October would not be recommended for you. I'm not saying don't do it. You can do what the fuck you want to do. If I were you, I wouldn't be traveling during October if I was a Gemini. Thankfully, I'm a Capricorn. So if anybody wants to take me on the trip, I'm going to go. Oh, I wish I could just win me a trip. I want to just call the radio like, hey, yeah, my name is Ashley. And they be like, you want a trip to Calabasas? What? Pack my motherfucking bags. I ain't even got no babysitter. But I'm going to be on that plane, though. I'm find a babysitter on my way to the airport. Drop them right off to my mama house. Surprise. Listen to me closely, Gemini. Y'all can't tell everybody every motherfucking thing. A lot of shit y'all doing right now, a lot of shit y'all got going on, people ain't happy about it. Okay, they ain't gonna tell people, oh yeah, you know, she started the business last week. They're gonna be like, you know what she did back in 97? Let me tell you, let me tell you how he ain't shit. Let me tell you what he did to me. Let me tell you what she did to me. Might give a fuck. That's okay, because when they start talking about you, somebody goes and Google your name or Google your website, and guess what pops up? Your business. And they fuck around and buy something off your website. Fuck around and buy something off your, you know, whatever. Hit you up, try to support you. Bitch, you done gave me a sale now. You thought you was talking down on me, but what you don't know is every time you mention my name, I'm blessed. Every time you mention my name, my motherfucking money go up. There will be someone who you left, who you knew was not right for you. Mm, they come back, hey. Or hey. <laughs> we they ass on red, please. Again, you can do what you want to do, but the energy y'all got going on in October, y'all really shouldn't be fucking with nobody. Okay, except for the people in your household. And if you live by yourself, then guess who the fuck you need to be talking to? You and only you. Because again, the plans that you're telling people, um, and it's not everybody who's, you know, jealous or whatever. But I can't tell y'all exactly who not to fucking talk to. So right now, I would just fucking zip it. Because there are people or a person that don't want to see y'all shine. Especially a, a past loved one. Like, oh, you thought you was moving on without me? I'm back. I'm back to call, to wreak havoc. I'm back to hold you back. A lot of people, a lot of y'all that got on and off again shit, the person that you fucking with comes back literally to hold you back to, to 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 bring you back into the energy you said your ass wasn't going back into right to do exactly what it is they've always done whatever whatever when they come back and whatever you expect that's exactly like oh yeah motherfuckers back just to play with me bingo <laughs> game's on um uh, now ain't the time now is not the motherfucking time People will come back and interfere with your money, drain your money, become a fucking money drain. I like my money. Actually, I love my money and my money love me. And we don't really like partying with motherfuckers that we don't fuck with for real. Ain't no going out. No, I don't want to go on a date. No, I don't want to take you on a date. No, I don't want to fuck with you. No, you can't come over. No, no, no. Don't let nobody in y'all house this month. If, if it ain't the people that live with you, Y'all needs to be drinking some hot tea, too. Because I don't know what's going on in the back of y'all nose. Is it like nasal drippage or some shit? Get ready. Y'all think y'all gonna be pumpkin patching and shit without no coats and, and hats on. Nose gonna be running. Breathing gonna be just congested. Mucus. <sighs> Best person for you to take advice from right now is me. I'm just playing, but seriously, me and your intuition. Um, a lot of you guys are getting more mental clarity. A lot of you guys are starting to trust in yourself more, starting to study more astrology, starting to study um, just new things, learning new things, different ways of communicating as well. Um, you guys could be wondering, why am I thinking about this person so much? Or why am I thinking about this so much? Um, or yeah, it's really a person. Like some of you guys are thinking of like exes or people from the past because they're thinking of you. So it's literally just like a mental telepathy, mental telepathy, a mental connection. And it's not that you're interested. It's just that somehow this person won't stop fucking thinking of you. And then what happens? Now we intertwine energetically and 
I'm trying to figure out why I can't get you off my mind. I don't even fucking like your ass. Meditate. Shift your focus. May I have one last card for Gemini? 10 10. Y'all can see 10 10 a lot. Um, the message is stay, stick, stick the course, stick to the course. Or to stay the course. Mm -hmm. Whatever y'all doing, keep doing that shit. That's what it really means. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.